Uh, everybody, just another oil painting update. This time of the uh, fitness clown from uh, poster artwork for uh, the Toby Hooper film The Fun House, which is one of favorite of mine. Of course, I think the only, uh, well, maybe one of the only horror movies that deal with, uh, I guess, a haunted mechanical fun house, but, well, nonetheless, um, it had imagery that sort of, like, really caught my attention, so I figure. Yeah. Hey, I got this uh, canvas. I'll just like do something with this. And so, of course, this guy would be um, up next on the chopping block here. So uh, I'm glad I did do this. I mean, uh, I mean, I got a reference from uh, I think a DVD I have somewhere. Well, I don't have it with me right now, but uh, it's a sort of four movie uh, DVD with. Just, you know, the artwork of all the, you know, films and stuff like that, and this was, uh, on one of them. Yeah, it's not the, um, the full frontal, uh, original artwork either, with just the, you know, this clown guy in the box, but, you know, just the close-up shot of the head, which is, you know, already creepy enough, so. I mean, this kind of, you know, does give me, uh, the creeps a little bit, I'll have to admit, but. Kind of, so, uh, I'm pretty satisfied with this. But anyway, so yeah, it kind of took a while to get this uh, right too, but you know, not as long as the um, other paintings I've done in the past. Uh, this one was uh, pretty quick compared to the rest of them. Uh, I just did this all in like one morning, and uh, I guess to speed up the process, I just got the you know the old turpentine I was using to you know clean my brushes with, and you know, just you know, kind of mixed it in there just to get a it's kind of a clear transition of all the um, colors and everything. Uh, I think it worked for the best too, and it also uh, dried the fastest, which uh, I was pretty surprised by. You know, I didn't have to wait for days to you know for it to dry to you know make changes. You know, I can make changes as I just went along, which was perfect because now it's. Um, I don't think I need to do much now. Uh, at least I don't think. I mean, not that it's, you know, not for changes, but, you know, everything is... I mean, because everything you do is not going to be 100% perfect when you uh, do it in the first instance. you got to... I mean, you look at things and you say, you know, I could improve upon this. So, you know, it's kind of how it goes. And this included uh, of that blood dripping out of his mouth. He's kind of smiling here, too. I think I remember uh, the original artwork um, I based this on. It's um, a little more grisly looking, and uh, I don't know, it's kind of a you know personal favorite uh, thing I've done. I just made him kind of smile a bit more. He's a lot more sinister, so you don't exactly want to hang this in your bathroom anytime soon. You poor souls out there, but... Well, anyway, I just, you know, I love that carnival house imagery, so, you know, this was, you know, I think perfect for me to do, and even as an oil painting, so, and I enjoy the fun house, I mean, I gotta watch that film again sometime, I mean, I haven't seen that in a while, it's one of my favorites from, uh, Toby Hooper, that's the Texas Chainsaw 1 and 2, and Toolbox Murders, so, and a lot of others, I can't seem to remember right now, but, well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, uh, I think I have another oil painting sort of video update thing coming soon, so, uh, I'll just wait for that, anyway, uh, take care, everybody, thanks for watching, and